Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel. Welcome to those of you who are new. Welcome back to those of you seasoned veterans and what we do around here. What we do around here is bring about conversations of a psychological, mental health, emotional health paradigm. And no, this is Pro Wrestling Logic where we discuss a variety of pro wrestling topics over 2,500 of them at this point. Eventually hoping to get to 25,000, 10 exit. Anyway, this is the WCW uh, Saturday Night Review Series for the 31st of March 1990. Uh, we've got literally hundreds of these available, hundreds of old school points, all points in between. Su super excited about the prospect of making that work. Anyway, uh, this is, like I said, the 31st of uh, March 1990, and it's an interesting, I guess you'd say interesting time period. Uh, by every stretch of the imagination and ultimately leading uh, in a good direction. Uh, in any event, continue to do that where we can, when we can, and uh, this is obviously a pivotal time, 1990, of course, the first World Championship Wrestling, uh, I guess you'd say, Wonder of Sting and all of that, uh, and also, um, you know, Kind of moving forward in a, in a positive direction there. As mentioned, uh, this is a 90-minute version without commercials, so to our full version of WCW Saturday Night, and they continue to be uh, some really interesting ones here. Anyway, um, you know, Jim Cornette and Jim Ross are your announced team for the time period, and they continue to be, um, you know, pretty... I guess you'd say determined, whatever have you. Uh, Norman the Lunatic out there basically endorsing his new tag team partner or semi-new tag team partner, Abdullah the Butcher. Um, not necessarily sure that Abdullah should be a baby face in any stretch of the imagination unless it's in Japan where you're kind of doing the, the gore thing. But Mike Rotundo in an enhancement match here coming off the Varsity Club thing. Kevin Sullivan uh, back and forth in the area for... Quite a number of years, not exactly, you know, super, super useful, but it's here anyway. Um, and Rotundo, uh, very basic mat wrestling style stuff um, in this enhancement match and doesn't really get all he wants on it. Does eventually get a victory, though, with an airplane spin, among other things, and super basic, as it were, as uh, then we go to... Another in the series of enhancement matches, um, you know, and kind of keeping things going there. Um, Rotundo probably got about six or seven minutes out of it, and uh, uh, then we go to another in series of enhancement matches. Rotundo coming off of the, um, you know, kind of the, kind of the WCW run. Uh, Abdullah the Butcher sold in the slaughterhouse. Uh, Taking the man out with a, a board and other basic things. Kevin Sullivan uh, being uh, taken out by Abdullah the Butcher. They brawl around uh, from the outside of the slaughterhouse, breaking down Su Sullivan. Not exactly uh, in a good position from his perspective anyway. There, here in the spring of 1990. Jimmy Garvin up and um, the the alliance and talking uh, spoken more about with uh, Norman Norman the Lunatic and uh, the um, Abdullah the Butcher Mike Rotundo all former allies of one uh, Kevin Sullivan and that that whole thing is broken down Sullivan probably leaving the area soon hereafter at least for a little while doing more international touring Jimmy Garvin in an enhancement match here. Uh, Garvin, of course, not fully reunited with Michael Hayes, although that's coming in the next few weeks. Uh, enhancement talent manages to hold on to a headlock, and then Garvin kind of flicks him up into a leg grapevine. Back and forth, lots of uh, basic stuff, uh, side headlock and the like, and head scissors. Uh, Garvin does have uh, none other than Michael Hayes out to support him soon thereafter. Garvin, though, probably gives the enhancement talent a little bit of extra time, tosses the man to the outside, and then hits a DDT for the victory. Jimmy Garvin, of course, 
uh, eventually getting that victory and uh, uh, being in a good space there. Then we go to uh, Flying Ryan Pillman. Uh, Pillman and Tom Zink, former U.S. Tag Team Champions. They have been uh, in that position for a while. Uh, Van Panzer, one of the enhancement talents with them. Uh, they have uh, also kind of been after Jim Cornette's Midnight Express for a while, and that series is pretty intense. Tom Zink at the time, a phenomenal uh, tag team wrestler. Panzer takes the majority of the match. Panzer, if, if you're unaware, enhancement talent does the full pink bodysuit and, um, you know, kind of continues there. Pillman and Zink doing the wishbone. Pillman been around for about a year, maybe a little bit more. Uh, here in 1990, uh, lots of consistent tags in and out between both men, Pillman and Zink, uh, slingshots along the way. And then we go to the Minnesota Wrecking Crew, two, um, uh, I guess you'd say, enhancement talents against the Steiner Brothers. Minnesota Wrecking Crew, Steiner Brothers, of course, still your tag team champions. Scott Steiner against one of the two masked men, Ole Anderson providing that advice there. Gut, gut wrench, gut buster by Scott Steiner. Scott obviously looking for the stronger of the two. The Minnesota Wrecking Crew not happy with their lack of uh, tag team championship success to this point, which never really goes anywhere. Don't know a great deal about the uh, tag team of the... Minnesota Wrecking Crew with the masks at this point. Uh, Scott Steiner hooking, or well, I'm sorry, Rick Steiner hooking up with a huge lariat among, Steiner line lariat uh, among other things. The other half of the tag team coming in, and needless to say, the uh, breakdown of working over the arm of Scott Steiner, including but not limited to a hammerlock slam and other things on the floor, running Scott into the steel post and ultimately, um, you know, kind of getting things going back in that direction. The Steiners eventually do get the victory. Then we go back to Sting. Sting at, at the gym, working out the knee, having been injured, also being betrayed by the horseman within the last few months. Sting basically saying he will be back uh, in time for Capital Combat. He will be back in time to be one of the best in the world. Then we go to Animal and Ron Simmons in ring here in a singles match. Uh, the Animal of the Road Warriors, of course, trying to get the tag team match back from Doom. Animal manages to hit a uh, drop kick in the ring. The match breaks down into a bit of a brawl. Hawk comes back out and all four guys uh, out there and continuing the war between Doom and the Legion of Doom. Um, and um, uh, Paul Ellering knocked out from behind by uh, none other than um, Teddy Long, Long a manager here, and the disqualification victory. Needless to say, uh, Sugar Ray Long, a.k.a. Teddy Long, promising to get rid of Paul Ellering once and for all. Uh, the Road Warriors, a.k.a. the Legion of Doom, basically promising to take out the uh, team of Doom no matter what, no matter where. Uh, highlights of a previous series of matches between Lex Luger and Ric Flair. Luger petitioning for at the next pay-per-view a cage match between the two, which actually is eventually granted. Flair obviously not wanting to take backward steps. Then we go to uh, Cactus Jack. I don't know if he's using the Manson name here. The, one of the few members left as, associated with Kevin Sullivan. Uh, Sullivan's team breaking down, obviously. Uh, Jack in an enhancement role, and or in a supported role, but uh, still an enhancement talent here. Cactus Jack turns his man to the outside and uh, continues to brawl along. Not really much of a long-term plan for Cactus Jack here in 1990. But they still do manage to try and give him something to do. Kevin Sullivan on the outside, and eventually when Cactus Jack does use his body as a lawn dart, Kevin Sullivan also gets in. Still weird to see Mick Foley in a singlet. They brawl on the outside before Sullivan gets involved, and again, Cactus Jack is successful in his run. Also, 
Norman the Lunatic, and Abdul the Butcher brawling out with Sullivan to close the program. We will be back right after this.